this which la scientific director with ziva fertility centers hypospermia is a condition which is characterized by low volume of semen during sexual intercourse this low volume of semen can have implications on male infertility and has to be addressed especially when the couple is trying for pregnancy let's look at the causes the effects of hypospermia and what are the treatment options available for men who are diagnosed with hypospermia to talk about the causes first let's uh, begin with the uh, cause called as retrograde ejaculation in this situation the semen sample instead of coming out it reverses its flow back into the bladder and therefore what comes out as semen is very low in volume therefore such an issue of retrograde ejaculation can result in hypospermia the next is obstruction of blockage if there is a blockage in ejaculatory ducts or other parts of the male reproductive system then the flow of seminal vesicles during ejaculation is also restricted and therefore this reduces the semen volume next we need to talk about prostate gland issues prostate gland plays a very crucial role in semen production conditions such as prostatitis which is inflammation of the prostate can result in a low production of uh, semen volume now this is because prostate also contributes to the volume of the semen therefore if there is an infection in prostate it can result in low production of fluid from the prostate therefore leading to hypospermia hormonal imbalances also play a very crucial role when it comes to hypospermia therefore patients that present themselves with hypospermia are are made to go through a rigorous hormone evaluation as well so let's look at the effects of hypospermia now when the volume is low definitely the mode of transport for the sperms also becomes very difficult the more the volume easier it is for sperms to travel in the female tract now what happens is when the semen is is ejaculated and deposited in the female tract only the sperm swim up the ejaculate stays back yes definitely but if the volume is less it also means that the count of sperms also may be less from this we can infer that it's difficult for sperms to swim up to the egg there are other effects as well these are secondary effects but there could be a reduction in lubrication during intercourse it could also have an emotional impact because if the volume is low and the couple is trying for pregnancy or is not able to have sexual intercourse then it becomes a stressful situation and can lead to emotional damage also so these are the effects that can happen from hypospermia so what are the treatment options for hypospermia let's begin with retrograde ejaculation again now in retrograde ejaculation the, the sphincter of the bladder is affected it, it does not constrict which is why the semen also goes back into the bladder so looking at some surgical options for improving this sphincter damage or improper functioning can also help in improving the volume of uh, semen that is ejaculated next is obstruction or blockage that we talked about if there is a blockage that can be identified then surgical interventions can help reduce these blockages or totally remove them we should also talk about prostate gland issues treatment for prostatitis or other prostate related issues can help restore normal prostate function and improve seminal vesicle production hormonal imbalances as i said uh, have to be properly evaluated and once we know which hormone is deficient or which hormone is not balanced treatment for hormonal imbalances can also restore the volume of semen if hypospermia has emotional or psychological effects counseling or support from a mental health professional will also help so to understand these are treatments which are uh, primary for hypospermia but if you look at some treatment options which can fasten the chance of a success of pregnancy there is a treatment of assisted reproductive technologies in this treatment the semen definitely even if it is low in volume the sperms are collected from it they are processed only the good sperms are utilized for either in vitro fertilization procedure or intracytoplasmic sperm injection within ivf so these are treatment options which are definitely available and if a couple is not able to conceive normally or naturally having low uh, semen volume then these treatment options are always there however these treatments are not 100% assured because the success of these treatment options definitely depend depend on various factors such as uh, the women's age the kind of sperms that we are using the endometrial factors all these things play a very important role in the success of an IVF program if you wish to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you